Hi guys, Yulia here. So today I will be doing a fun project. I'll call it a flower tower. So I found this three-tier wire basket stand for $10 at one of the garage sales. So definitely go out and check out your garage sales at this time of the year. People get rid of a lot of their stuff so you can get great deals on pots and some um, gardening supplies and tools. So I will be planting this wire stand with annuals. So each tier will have different annuals and I'll have like some spillover plants going from one tier to another. So I will go over the plants with you now. So the plant number one is a green leaf white begonia. And the label says that they grow from eight to 12 inches. I think it's gonna stay more on the smaller side because these uh, tier uh, baskets are not that big. So I don't think it's gonna reach its full potential. But I love these white flowers on it. They're kind of sparkly and just it's covered with flowers which is really cool now the second plant i can have 100 of these this is diamond frost euphorbia and one of my favorite annuals they're great filler and i actually am going to plant quite a few in here sorry about the plane um, so it's actually going to look like a white cloud with you know other plants so this one is just a lovely lovely plant now uh, as for the trailing plants I have the snowstorm giant snowflake bacopa and this one doesn't have any flowers right now because I actually got all these annuals believe it or not on a huge sale in a nursery yesterday um, so another tip for you go out to your nurseries right now at the end of July they have tons of sales so this one is um, going to play two roles. It's going to trail from one tier to another and it also is covered with little white flowers. So um, awesome plant here. And for the last plant, it, um, I have uh, Creeping Jenny. I wanted to have something a little bit of like the lime green color. Again, trailing from one tier to another. So Creeping Jenny, I am not a fan of it in the garden because it tends to take over, but in containers, I love it. So um, as you notice, probably, this is all white plants. So I'm actually going with a more of a monochromatic theme for this, whoops, leave my speaker alone. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with a monochromatic theme for this um, uh, project. I uh, love one color gardens. So actually I'm going to try to experiment and see how it looks in like all one color and maybe I'll do like a monochromatic garden next year somewhere. So let me get started. Now I just wanted to go over the supplies and tools that you will need for this project. You obviously need the um, three tier wire basket. Uh, you'll need a trowel and gloves if you choose to use gloves when you plant and you will need landscape fabric for uh, lining of these um, baskets here. I originally wanted to use cocoa fiber but it, it seemed a little bit pricey and it seemed a little bit bulky for this project. Um, you can also use burlap if you have you know some line around but landscape fabric is probably the least expensive uh, option to go to line these baskets so I'm just going to double it just in, in case to make sure that the soil and moisture stays in here for the plants and that's about it and then you obviously add plants to it.
So the project is done and I love it. The monochromatic theme here is working out just great. Um, I love um, the landscape fabric actually versus the cocoa fiber because you can barely see it. It's, uh, you know, dark in color so it kind of disappears. The trailing plants, the bacopa is doing their thing. The creeping jenny is doing their thing. And of course the euphorbia is just making all this composition rock. Um, the contrast between the begonia and euphorbia is great too. So anyway, let me know if you like this project in the comment section below and if you have any questions. I'll see you next time. Bye.